Quantum continues to see a bit of a breakdown move after losing a significant key area of support above the 0 0.4618, flipping it back into resistance. And at the time of this recording, we are slightly holding above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart and also above a significant key area of support above the 0 0.3931. And on today's video, I will be discussing my breakdown target areas where I'm expecting a bit of a breakdown move in the formation of these additive counts too. And once we have a low in place for this second wave, I will be expecting a very impulsive movement to the upper side in the formation of these larger additive count three. So make sure that you stick around till the end of the video and starting the video by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening since the 5th of August when we saw a massive breakdown move. We started a very nice recovery to the upside where we first picked in these additive count one. Then we saw a corrective structure in these additive count two, a bounce in an additive count three, another corrective structure in an additive count four, before we finally picked to the upper side in the formation of these additive count five, in a move that completed a five wave structure to the upside, completing the formation of these even larger additive count one. And having seen the formation of that first wave, whatever I expected next was a bit of a corrective structure in the formation of a larger additive count too, which is the move that is playing out at the moment. And its minimum target areas can be given by connecting the fibs from the low that you made on the 5th of August to that high in that larger additive count 5, giving me a minimum pullback target area for the second wave into the golden pocket between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.618. And that is the target area that I have highlighted on the charts using this blue target area that lies between the 0 0.3965 and the 0 0.3638, which is an area that I'm expecting Phantom is going to fully maximize in the next coming hours. So there's a chance that in the next coming hours, we are going to see another breakdown move, losing support on the 0 0.3931, flipping it back into resistance for us to fully maximize this blue target area. And once that is done, then I will consider that movement to the lower side as complete. And that will also increase the likelihood that we now have a low in place for the second wave. And in the next coming days, we can start an impulsive movement to the upside in what I will be terming as this additive count three. And once we have the lows in place for the second wave, I will be able to give you the minimum target areas. We also need to have in mind that there are also chances that maybe we have the low for the second wave and it's not a must that Phantom fully maximizes this target area down here. There are chances that we can easily see a reaction of the significant areas on the Fibonacci, which is the Fib level 0. Point, which is the area between the Fib level 0. 0.382 and the Fib level 0. 0.5. And also within this area, we can find a low for that second wave. And there are chances that in case in the next coming hours, we see a break of structure, see a break above significant highs then that could be the start of that impulsive additive count three. And once you have a confirmation that the law is in, I will be able to give you the minimum target areas for these additive count three. But for now, I have my eyes uh, stuck within this blue target area where I'm expecting Phantom is going to fully maximize before we can finally bounce to the upside in that additive count three. So that is all I'm expecting here on the phantom chart on the short term. So let's be patient and see how that plays out. And I will be keeping you up to date.